Welcome to Satya Skills. In this video, let us learn about uh, GST Council, a very important constitutional body. The Goods and Services Tax Council is the constitutional body for making recommendations to union and state governments on issues relating to goods and services tax GST. The 101st Amendment of the Constitution inserted a new article 279A in the Constitution of India that empowered President of India to constitute GST Council. The Government of India under the chairmanship of Prime Minister Mr. Narendra Modi constituted GST Council as per the article 279A subsection 1 of the amended Constitution of India. It came into effect from 12th September 2016 with following features. It was constituted with the head office at New Delhi. This is a body of members representing finance and tax system of different states and central government. Secretary Revenue is appointed as ex officio secretary to GST Council. Structure GST Council is a joint forum of central state and UT governments that consists of the following members. Union Finance Minister is the chairperson of the council. One member from each state who is the Minister of Finance will be the members. Vice Chairman will be elected from among the members on mutual consent. The Union Minister of State in charge of revenue or finance will be the member. The Union Cabinet also included the chairperson of Central Board of Excise and Customs as permanent non-voting member of the council like NYT. GST Council meetings is very important. According to Act, all decisions relating to GST are to be made in the GST Council meeting only. Thus, the GST Council meeting is very significant. The following points are essential to make the decisions of the meeting valid legally. The first one is GST Council meeting shall be valid only when quorum of the meeting is 50 percent. That means quorum means attendance of the members. All the decisions are finalized only with voting and to pass the resolution the decision needs at least 75 percent of voting. Article 279A gave different weightage to votes in the following way. The vote of central government shall have the weightage of one third of the total votes. The votes of the state government shall have two thirds of the total votes cast in the meeting and decisions of the meeting shall be declared no one shall not be declared invalid based on any remaining deficiency of the council at the time of establishment. It is like that if there is any vacancy of the member or something like that any deficiency it shall not be declared invalid. With regard to the functions GST and its execution coordination among all the stakeholders of tax system in India are managed through the decisions made in meetings of the council. GST Council is the primary unit that coordinates all the members. It provides common platform to all states, UTs and the central government to discuss and analyze the working of GST. The council acts as coordinator between central government and the state governments for smooth and efficient administration of GST and work for cooperation among the governments. The council recommends on the following issues. It facilitates in incorporating all other indirect taxes in GST as per the objectives of the GST system. The council deals with those goods and services that need to be exempted from tax. It also specifies the threshold limits of turnover below which goods and services may be exempted from GST. It recommends the exemptions that are applicable in GST. It recommends on the special rates for the specified period to raise additional sources to the government, especially during natural calamity or any disaster. It makes special provisions for some states such as all northeastern states, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Jammu, etc. It also deals with the laws relating to GST. The council also makes decisions with regard to rules, regulations, principles of GST. Other matters relating to GST can also be recommended by the council. It decides the classes of taxpayers to be exempted from obtaining registration. That is all about GST council. All the best.